All right, so we've established that using the mean value theorem, if we know the derivative is equal to zero everywhere on an interval, our function has to be constant on that interval. Um, this second result is actually quite important. This is going to be an essential result when we move on, when we look at antiderivatives, right? It's going to be important to know that if two functions have the same derivative, then the only difference between them is going to be a constant. This means that you know, once we've found one function whose derivative gives us a particular function that we're looking at, we know that every other possible function um, that could give us that same derivative has to be the one we already found plus a constant. This is going to be really useful. Um, so how do we use the mean value theorem to establish this? Well, it seems like we're going to have to do a whole lot of work probably similar to what we just did over here, but actually we can use this result if we're clever, right? So what we can do is we can say, let's just let h of x equal f of x minus g of x, okay? All right, so what can we do with that? Well, and maybe I'll, I'll kind of skip writing this part down, but we know that f prime equals g prime. We're told that. So again, if I'm writing down this equation, then implicitly I'm assuming that f and g are differentiable, right? I can't write down that equation until I know that f and g are differential, until I know that f prime and g prime exist, then I can compare them. Um, so f and g are differentiable functions h is the difference of a differentiable function, so it must itself be differentiable. And since it's differentiable, it has to be continuous, and so the mean value theorem applies, right? So mean value theorem applies to h, and we notice that h prime, and in fact, we could just jump straight to this, h prime is f prime, minus g prime, ah, but f prime equals g prime. So what do you get if you subtract two things that are equal? You get zero, right? So that means that h prime is identically zero on our interval, which puts us back to part a, right? We've got a function that's equal to zero on an interval. We know that that function has to be constant. So h of x has to be equal to c, right? But h of x is, is f of x minus g of x for some c, right? Well, rearrange that equation. We're going to get the result we want, right? Maybe I should have done g minus f if I'm worried about the sign here. Maybe I should put a minus c here. But we get the result, right? So if two functions have the same derivative, then their difference is a constant. This is going to be important later on in the course.